Good morning. It's Monday, October 7th, 2019. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Joy in Troubling Times, and our scripture is Psalm 137. Beside the rivers of Babylon, we sat and wept as we thought of Jerusalem. We put away our harps, hanging them on the branches of poplar trees. For our captors demanded a song from us. Our tormentors insisted on a joyful hymn. Sing us one of those songs of Jerusalem. But how can we sing the songs of the Lord while in a pagan land? It's strangely perplexing when someone reacts to news in just the opposite way you'd expect. A person hears that a friend just got a promotion and bursts into tears. Another gets the news that her uncle just died and tries to stifle a smile. What gives with our emotions and bad or good news? The psalmist is a case in point. The mood of Israel after being run over by the Babylonian armies was sullen. The enemy had killed every person who was a perceived threat, looting the temple, crippling the people's spirit, and destroying any hope of ever returning to the days of David's grandeur. On top of it all, the residents of Jerusalem had been relocated to Babylon, where their captives could keep an eye on them. They were rubbing salt in the wound by forcing the captives to sing them a happy little ditty. Call me cynical, but how can you sing, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands? with a smile on your face when your heart's been squeezed like a lemon and crushed like a peanut shell under an elephant's foot. The Israelites were weeping over the loss of their homeland, their promised land, their lives, and the Babylonian dogs were goading them to sing a merry tune. Some things are just too much. At times, I think I know just how the ancient people of God must have felt. The land, which I call home, has been captured by a spirit of division, anger, crude perversion, and deceit. To say we live in troubling times is to understate the obvious by a country mile. It's impossible to recount the sordid details of just how far 21st century culture has dipped into the morass of the days of Noah. But suffice to say, if God had not promised to never again destroy the earth because of the wickedness of man, the only climate change I'd be looking for is the thunderclouds warming up for a 40-day monsoon. And still, there's a prophetic cloud hanging over the sinfulness of America's godlessness. There's coming a time when God will recompense evil with a sweeping righteous judgment. No one will be able to stand in that day. So... Where's the joy in all this musing about the evil in our day and the coming judgment that will push the souls of evildoers eternally into the abyss? Is it just that the worm is going to turn and those who truly worship God are going to get to play Babylon and torture those who are now in power? In a word, hardly. The joy is in knowing that the troubling times in which we live is, to those of faith, testimony that God's word is true, and he's without question moving the timeline of history along to God's inevitable conclusion. We now live in a postmodern, post-Christian culture. For those who trust in Christ, it's a test of faith that burns away the dross of unbelief. In short, When God allows darkness, it's a certain proof that his light is patient, unwilling to summarily judge the wicked before giving them every chance to repent. But someday, that darkness will be surrounded and snuffed out forever by the light of God's goodness and righteousness. For you today, the time will arrive soon enough for the judgment. This day, let the Apostle James help us understand what these troubled times are forming in our souls. James chapter 1. Dear brothers and sisters, when troubles of any kind come your way, consider it an opportunity for great joy. For you know that when your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance to grow. So let it grow. For when your endurance is fully developed, you'll be perfect and complete needing nothing. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.